Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to be really fun. It is my very first tag video. I was tagged by the ever so fashionably chic Alice Fashionland to do this video. Now, if you haven't checked out her channel, you need to do so because she is so stylish and so chic. So check her out. Also, um, I would like to give a shout out to Lady B for mentioning me in her video last week. I really appreciate your support, Lady B. You mean a lot to me. And it, the great thing about YouTube is you become a part of a YouTube community and you're almost like family so it's really exciting to meet new friends you know support each other so i do appreciate you so much but on to the tag video okay the title of this tag is my favorite louis vuitton and also dream bag so let's get into the video If you are new here, welcome. My name is Yota. If you've been here before and you're already a part of my YouTube family, I just want you guys to know how much that I appreciate you. And I am just so excited because my channel is really growing. I've had so much positive feedback and I just really appreciate you guys. But if you're new and you love luxury and fashion, if you love unboxing and videos like that, then I would love for you to subscribe and also click the notification bell so you will be notified each week when I upload a new video. So I actually had to really think about this. There were two bags in my collection that kind of stood out. So I'm gonna put a little twist on this tag video. I'm going to feature my top pick, but also I'm going to tell you about my runner up. But my number one Louis Vuitton bag that is my favorite at this moment would have to be this beauty. Now I chose this one because I've been carrying it a lot. I've carried it all week actually to work and it's actually, you know, stuffed full of all of my stuff and I'm very unorganized. I just kind of like, if you've been watching my channel a while, you'll realize that I'm not really an organizer type of girl. I just like to throw all my stuff in there. But I do love this bag, and I chose this bag mainly because of the beautiful color and the richness of it. Look at this color. It still is on the website, and this is the color Raisin, but I absolutely adore this bag, and so this one would have to be my top pick. I've always loved a big bag, but recently I have tried to downsize, and that's why I actually have a runner-up to this tag video. Drum roll, please. The second Louis Vuitton bag that was the runner-up to this tag video, my favorite Louis Vuitton, would have to be this gorgeous monogram, Pouchette Matisse. I adore this bag, I love it so much. And I have become so attached to this bag. Now it does have a strap that I wear it crossbody. You could carry it like this, but I probably never would. But the, the strap is on the inside, and it's um, the lighter, um, the lighter, monogram but I love this bag because it really packs a punch for such a small compact bag you can put so much stuff in this bag I've carried it to festivals all summer long I've used this bag when I first purchased it I did not carry it that much but I have been trying to downsize and I have just really really gotten attached to this bag so this is my second runner-up on this tag video it has to be so it was really you know hard to choose between the two I was wondering which bag that you guys preferred do you prefer the artsy and emprunt leather or do you like the pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram I'm gonna model both of them for you and in the comments down below I think it'd be really fun if you guys would give me some feedback and tell me which bag that you like and why Okay, so I love this bag. Like I said, it's so soft and supple, and it is meant to be carried on the crook of the arm like this, and it looks really cute like this, but I will admit I'm not really a crook of the arm type girl. I will carry it like this from time to time. I mostly carry it 
up on my shoulder like this. But because the leather is so soft, it's really comfortable. The, the handle is just so bendable. It's just really comfortable up on the shoulder. So I would say the only downfall carrying this bag in this way, the base is really wide and you can get corner wear really easily if you're not careful. So, um, but I actually think the Empreinte Leather Artsy really is easier to carry on the shoulder than the Monogram Artsy because I've, I've owned both and I recently sold the Monogram one. I've just felt like the one in leather is just more shoulder friendly, I guess you could say. What do you guys think about this one? As you can see, this gorgeous color is just so rich looking. So this is the reason that I chose this one for my number one pick. Here's the Pouchette Matisse in reverse monogram. And I have just become a crossbody girl. I absolutely love wearing a crossbody bag. I never thought that I would. I said, oh, I just don't like bags like that. But once you go crossbody, you never go back. It's so easy and carefree. And what do you guys think about this one? So I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Which one would your top would be your top Louis Vuitton pick of the two. That was really fun. Now, on to the second part of this tag video. What is my top dream bag pick? Well, like the first part of the video, I have two. I have one that is attainable and one that is not attainable by any stretch of the imagination. So, the top pick that I would have to say that I would love to add to my collection and I plan to at some point next year. So I have to save for it, but I would say it's a jumbo Chanel, but I don't want it in black. I do think they're beautiful in black, but I have so many black bags. And I recently purchased the reissue in the 227 size and it's in black with the ruthenium hardware. So I don't want a black jumbo. I would love to have a color something maybe actually my top pick I think would be a dark green I've seen them and they are absolutely stunning and I wear so much black I think it would be gorgeous I thought about a red but I don't even think that I want red I think I would pick green or navy or cream so that is my dream bag. It's attainable. I do have to save for it. That's what I plan to get next year at some point, but I would love to have a jumbo in a beautiful color. Okay, so there's a bag that I dream about, but I don't think that I will ever own this bag because number one, I would never ever spend that amount of money on this bag but it is gorgeous I'm so attracted to it it's so ladylike and that is the Hermes Kelly bag I think it's so ladylike and I'm just so attracted to this bag I just love it so much but you know when a bag is over ten thousand dollars twelve thousand dollars there's just no way like I could save up for it it would probably take me you know three or four or five years to save up for it but that just would never happen because there's so many other things that you know I could get or you know put my money in the bank or whatever and you know I guess you know you could look at it like this oh you could sell several bags that you have and buy it and I could but I just um, I love the bags that I have but if I had unlimited funds that would be my dream bag I love the Kelly bag but I don't think it's ever gonna be in my future and that's okay that's totally okay but I do think that it's a beautiful bag so that's it for my tag video my favorite Louis Vuitton bag and my dream bag so what do you guys think about my choices? I would love to hear it in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much.